Meet the $250 million man who is changing the face of technology as we know it. Sam Altman is a tech industry veteran, entrepreneur, and investor who has helped shape some of the most innovative companies of our time. From his early days at Loop to his current role as CEO of OpenAI, Altman has always been at the forefront of technological change. Follow along as we delve into the fascinating world of Sam Altman and discover how he is shaping the future of tech. Sam was born in 1985 in Chicago, Illinois. He grew up in a Jewish family and was generally similar to other kids his age. His fascination with IT was sparked when he was given a computer for his ninth birthday, which set him on the path to the wealth he has today. Sam graduated from John Burroughs School and was accepted into Stanford University. During his time in college, he worked in the AI laboratory. Sam began his entrepreneurial career at the age of 19. Sam Altman's success began with his first company, Looped. It was a mobile location-based social networking application. This company was successful in raising more than $30 million in venture capital during an era when Facebook and Twitter were about to dominate social media. Looped, on the other hand, was shut down in 2012 after failing to gain traction. The company was later purchased by Green Dot Corporation for $43.4 million. After selling his application, he went on to become both a partner and the president in Y Combinator, a technology startup accelerator. His efforts have helped many companies to make a big mark in the startup ecosystem. Through Y Combinator he invested in companies like Airbnb, Stripe, Reddit, Asana, Pinterest, Teespring, and many more to name. But software is not Sam Altman's only interest. He's also invested in the nuclear energy sector. Altman is known for his association with Helion and Oklo. According to Sam, nuclear energy is one of the most important areas of technological development. In 2015, Sam Altman partnered up with Elon Musk and created OpenAI, a research organization focused on advancing artificial intelligence in a responsible and safe manner. Musk, Altman, and other prominent Silicon Valley characters, including Peter Thiel and LinkedIn co-founder Reid Hoffman, pledged $1 billion to the project. Under Sam Altman's leadership, OpenAI has made some of the most significant advances in artificial intelligence in recent years. From natural language processing to machine learning to robotics, the company has a track record of breaking new ground and setting the pace for the industry. Yet something went wrong in the relationship with Elon Musk. In 2018, the company stated that the Tesla CEO resigned to eliminate potential future conflict due to the carmaker's focus on AI. Musk later said he quit the company because he didn't agree with some of what the OpenAI team wanted to do. In 2020, Musk said on Twitter that his confidence in the company was not high when it came to safety. More recently, Musk said he paused OpenAI's access to Twitter's database for training its software. In November 2022, OpenAI launched ChatGPT, an online assistant trained to generate human-like text by predicting the next word in a sequence of words. ChatGPT was specifically trained to engage in conversation and respond to prompts in a natural and coherent way. It is able to generate responses to a wide range of topics and can even initiate conversations on its own. It has a vast knowledge base and can provide information and answer questions on a wide variety of topics. However, it is important to note that ChatGPT is a machine learning model and does not have personal experiences or feelings. It generates responses based on patterns and correlations it has learned from its training data, and it may not always provide accurate or appropriate responses. ChatGPT can be used in a variety of applications, such as chatbots, virtual assistants, and automated customer service systems. With the public launch of ChatGPT, the discussion about the impact of artificial intelligence on humans has reignited online. Immediately, people around the world wanted to see if the online assistant could steal their jobs. Artificial intelligence has been put to work creating games, programming apps, marketing strategies, 
video scripts like this one, and more. The results were surprising, but not error-free. Even though its technology is quite advanced, ChatGPT still makes stupid mistakes. For example, it said the fastest marine mammal is the peregrine falcon. We know that artificial intelligence can learn something new faster than a human. So the question is, how advanced will it be in 5 or 10 years? What will human life look like in 20 or 30 years? I guess we'll find out soon enough.